Expats and depression. The reason you could become depressed and suffer anxiety when retiring in Southeast Asia. Many people dream of retiring to a warm country with blue skies and sandy beaches. Quite often the dream and reality are two different things. In this video we look at whether your dream of retiring abroad is just a crazy idea and how depression and anxiety can suddenly set in. 1. The language barrier. As soon as you step off the plane you will realise you are in a non-English speaking country where all the signs and documents are also in a different language. This can make getting around and making friends more difficult. You really need to get out and not isolate yourself. Don't let the language be a barrier to enjoying and getting the most out of your new country. Don't wait for people to come to you. Retiring abroad means you have no built-in social life anymore. The once are re re revolved around your family and friends back home. 2. A lack of routine. Before you retired, you had a daily routine of going to work every day and socialising with your work colleagues. Now in retirement, you have no routine and nowhere to go every day, and some people find this difficult to adapt to. Also in your work life, you could have been somebody that had responsibility and status. Now you find you are a nobody and just an old man or woman. 3. Different customs and cultural experiences. You are now in a country that has different religious beliefs and social customs. Even the food is very different. If you cannot accept these changes and differences, and are not adaptable, it can lead to anxiety and eventually depression. 4. A different way of doing things. Everyday things will be done differently in your new country. Work ethics and quality of work may be different from back home. You just need to accept that the hot weather or lack of tools may affect how a job is done. Once again, you must learn to accept these differences, otherwise you will find yourself getting angry and comparing everything with the way it was done back home. Everything gets done differently. Adjust your mindset and fit into the local culture and way of doing things. 5. A lack of shared interests. Back home you have a circle of friends and likely you all share the same interests. Suddenly you have no friends and when you do meet people you feel you have nothing in common with them. You need to open your mind or you will find it difficult to socialise and make new friends and you will gradually become isolated. Explore your hobby options and find people who love the same things as you do. Find people who share your interests, not just people who want to chat. 6. Undeveloped infrastructure Things in your new country may not be as modern and perform as well as back home. Public transport may not run on time. Electricity and the internet may fail more regularly than back home. If this is something that is going to wind you up and frustrate you, or will you just accept it and take it as being part of your new life and accept the bad with the good? 7. Relationship Problems Moving to Southeast Asia and finding a younger woman seems like a dream to a lot of men. It can soon become a nightmare if you are not careful and aware of what you are getting into. Firstly, there is the issue of the age gap. Your interests will be totally different, purely based on your age. Secondly, she can speak to everyone in her language and you cannot join the conversation, leaving you feeling isolated. Thirdly, you have the money and she does not, so over time this can lead to resentment on your part. Those three things can over time lead to relationship issues or lead you to feel depressed if you feel you are trapped or if you feel being left alone in your old age. 8. Embittered expats dragging you down. If you hang around with positive happy people, you will feel uplifted and alive. Equally, if you surround yourself with negative, bitter and twisted people, over time you will become like them in terms of how you view your new country and your relationships. 
you will eventually become depressed about your new life and surroundings. For many, the dream of living in Southeast Asia has turned sour when cultural and social problems have brought an abrupt end to their dream retirement lifestyle. When this happens, people find themselves losing interest in things and they stop exercising and looking after their health. This can eventually lead to alcoholism and depression. This depression and anxiety can get worse if they start running out of money or encounter visa problems and they start seeing an uncertain future for themselves. Many cannot face going back home to the colder weather and grey skies, which makes them even more depressed. Conclusion If you are thinking of retiring to Southeast Asia, you need to ask yourself how adaptable and flexible you are, and if you can accept the differences and challenges you will face in your new life in Southeast Asia. Do you have the mental strength to survive if something drastic occurs in your life while living abroad? Were you always unhappy and depressed in your home country? If so, what makes you think moving to another country where everything is different will change your state of mind? In all likelihood, after the initial excitement of moving abroad wears off, the dark clouds will form once again. So think carefully before you jump on a plane. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and don't forget to subscribe.